We get this question all the time. Where can I use my VA home loan and purchase a property? Basically living out the American dream. So there's a couple places uh, that you can buy and there's a lot of places that you can't buy. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is within the United States, okay? You could purchase anywhere within the continental United States, it also includes Alaska, but there's also another hidden secret, which is it's US territories, which includes uh, Puerto Rico, Guam, the Virgin Islands, the American Samoa, and the Northern Mariana Islands, which which is north of Guam, which is something that I learned today making this video. And the reason why we uh, make this video is because we have a lot of people that are overseas or thinking about purchasing overseas and they want to leverage the benefits of the VA home loan, which again are going to be limited to the United States and its territories as they acquire or deacquire, I guess, properties across the across the world. Uh, but just note, that's how it works with the VA home loan. Now, you definitely have some other loan options as well on outside the VA home loan if you're buying within the territories as well. Uh, and in fact, you can use any loan product that's offered. So Fannie, uh, Fannie and Freddie Mac loans, FHA loans. You can do USD loans, which can be an alternative for veterans looking to purchase in rural areas. Uh, but also, you'd be surprised that you can use USD loans uh, relatively close to major cities. Uh, so it's definitely worth looking into when you're looking at that decision on what products should you be looking at and how it works now we have a ton of videos around that and this also helps veterans that may be living in high cost areas that have flexibility and where they live to be able to move to lower cost areas um, they definitely exist throughout the country uh, it's just your preference on where you want to live because there's really no again no limit on what you can do with the va home loan now one thing that does get affected as far as a limit is that if you don't have an outstanding V home loan at the time of closing on a property, there's technically no limit on the V home loan as long as you're both eligible and qualified. Eligibility is do you have your V home loan, the full entitlement, and qualification is can you afford the monthly payment? So if you want to buy a million dollar property or two or three or four or five million dollar property with zero money down, you can do so with a V home loan. That's the power of the V home loan. Now, if you have have multiple properties then it's going to switch to back uh, to having a limit so let me show you guys uh, and also I'm going to link the description down below for the Fannie Mae single family loan limit tool which is going to help you uh, determine what is the limit for that area when you have multiple VA home loans so I'm going to explain it here with three different places so first I'm going to look into uh Chicago, Illinois, uh, and then you're going to be able to see what the single family loan limit is for that area, which is going to be 766,550. So if you have, uh, let's say, a loan for 266,550, you still have $500,000 left of your VA benefits to purchase in the Chicagoland area. Now, that dollar amount is the general one across the country. Then you can look at high cost areas, which I'm gonna use Arlington, Virginia as, and their limit is 1,149,826. So if you bought a place for 249,825, you still have 900,000 left to purchase in this area. But if you bought a million dollar property in Arlington, Virginia, and then try to go back to Chicago, you've exhausted your entire benefits. So all things to know, and this is why, um, it's so important to check this because it's all going to be based on different amounts. And look at this, uh, in Fort Lewis, uh, it's 977, 500, which again is going to be a different, uh, number that you're going to use for qualification purposes. This is why it's so important to understand how the loan works. On top of all of that, you have community property states. So if you're married, uh, and your spouse is not on the mortgage, then their credit is going to be looked at and their debts are going to be used against your qualification. Now, the rule exception to that is if they could support their own income, they provide that to the lender, and then they could use the veteran's income. This is why the V loan also gets tricky where you could be qualified in some states and not others. And this is why all this is factored in. 
Now, when it comes to the territories, they typically are going to follow, from the research I did, is going to follow that 766 550 as the loan amount with multiple VA loans. But again, no limit as long as you're eligible and qualified with your VA home loan. So again, a ton of perks and benefits to that. Along with that, there's different types of properties that you can purchase with a VA home loan uh, in all in the United States and its territories, which is going to be single family homes, which is pretty straightforward, condos, you could also buy planned unit developments, think of like subdivisions that have like low HOA dues, uh, you could buy up to a four unit plus a commercial space. And if you have multiple veterans purchasing, it could be multiple veterans plus a four unit plus a commercial space. Uh, you should check out uh, our video around uh, joint home loan applications. It's pretty cool. Uh, also, you talk about manufactured homes uh, that are fixed to the property, and you can also purchase new construction. Uh, you can you can get a, a construction loan or purchase a straight up new construction loan, uh, which again, uh, there's a ton of benefits with that VA home loan, which let's quickly cover what that is. Uh, if you, the VA loan doesn't require a down payment as long as you have your full entitlement. Again, that's why we also showed you guys how to find what the single family loan limit is for the area. Also note, if even if you're buying a two unit, three unit, or four unit, you still have to use the single family loan limit indicator uh, on that website. Don't confuse yourself. If you guys have questions, uh, schedule a call with us. Happy to go over it. And remember, in the US and its territories, all the same rules apply with the VA home loan. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, including the community property states, okay? Uh, obviously, the rates are very competitive. Stop using the big banks that are advertising you on to you every day because you're paying for the advertisement. Uh, rates should be lower than a conventional loan. They're way more competitive. And there's definitely closing costs associated with the VA loan. We just did a video yesterday about that and where to find that money, okay? Um, you really want to be able to, especially from like a first-time home buyer perspective, is educate yourself on all the benefits that are, go around with the VA home home loan. Uh, that's what we, we can't stress that enough. It's your money. You got to figure out what you can do because folks like me are able to guide you and say, look, based on what you want to do, this is how we can structure it. This is like all the fina fina uh, finagling <laughs> that needs to get done right? Someone can help you with, but you really got to determine like, is home ownership for me? Uh, am I ready for that? Uh, because we have veterans that have, you know, will join the military and use the VA loan right away. And then we have people that have been out, you know, in their 60s, 70s and 80s using the VA loan or buying a home for the first time. So it really is up to you. Uh, you really want to make sure you're working with a lender that understands the pre-approval process. Make sure you're submitting all your loan documents to the lender so they can make sure that whatever that you you're trying to do, you can do ahead of time. I always recommend six months to a year out to start having your credit reviewed, having your financial per, uh, reviewed to make sure that whatever it is that you want to do, you can do. Pre-approvals are good for 90 days. Uh, after that, if you want an updated pre-approval, I mean, most of the time lenders can do it without a credit check, but it's advised that you'd have another credit check. Uh, you have unlimited credit pools in a 45 day window anyways for shopping for lenders. So do your homework, do your research, make sure that you're on top of your game for that home buying. Because uh, if you spend money on rigid junk fees like origination fees and paying big discount points, uh, again, with the big box lenders, you're just basically wasting money and giving it to them just for fun so they can market to you more and <laughs> make you spend more money. So please stop don't do it stop doing it uh, get educated around that va home loan process so please guys hit the like and subscribe button so you can get more content like this drop any questions you have uh around the va home loan or if you want certain videos drop them in the comment section i'll catch you guys soon